Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Magnum Martell, and today we're going to be talking about Call Me Carson and the current allegations standing against him. I'm going to give you a little bit of my opinion and a little bit of the cold hard facts. So let's start off real quick and simple. I don't know when we're going to learn the valuable lesson we need to learn, but there comes a point where we need to understand that humans make stupid decisions. People make mistakes, and canceling them and ruining their career on Twitter is not going to solve the problem. In fact, it's only making the problem worse. So the allegations are very straightforward, very simple. Basically, Carson has recently been accused of, and there's been some DMs that was through Discord, I believe? Yeah, Discord. Released where basically he was, when he was 19 years old, which was, you know, a while ago, involved in basically sexual conduct with a fan who is one of his Discord monitors. Now, it's worth noting that the fan was 17, and I just want to point out right here and now. First off, while that is a stupid decision, really stupid decision, because the, the legal system, at least here in the United States, is ass-backward and busted as hell. This is a system where it will tell you, and mind you, what they were doing is technically, in a sense, legal. Because at least in some states, at least in my state and most states, because it is a federal law, I believe. I, I, I'm not sure what the actual specifics on it are, to be honest with you. But either way, it's mostly a countrywide law. Is that the age of consent is 18 years old. So if you're younger than that, you can't be involved with anyone who is older than that. But then there's also the secondary law, where there is basically the age of consent being slightly lower or within a, a certain bracket. So basically a 16-year-old can be involved with a 19-year-old, and it's legal because they're not more than four years apart. And of course, there's a stipulation of parental permissions. I actually, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I have a cousin named Danny who is actually in prison at this time because when he was 17, he was dating a girl who was 16. Well, when he turned 18, she was still 17. They had parental consent and everything, as you do, but when she ended up getting pregnant and with his baby, guess what? Her parents went and said, nope, they didn't give consent, and guess what? Poor Danny is sitting behind bars right now, because that's how the system works. You know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the crazy one here, but maybe it's also because I'm a small content creator at this time, rather than a large one with millions of fans and followers, but don't worry, I'll get there someday. You know damn well I will. I'm never giving up. But anyway... I would never be involved with a fan, personally. That's just a risk that I would not be willing to take at all. Full stop. No exceptions, period. Don't even fucking think about it. I don't know how people do the online dating thing, to be honest with you. I don't mean, like, websites that help you match with people. I mean, like, dating someone who's several states away or even an entire fucking continent away. I, I can't do that. I did that when I was, like, 15 with someone who was in, within my state. And what that taught me is that these kind of things just don't really work out that often. It's very, very seldom that they do, like a one in a million. But to do that with someone who is a fan of you, that's, that's just a fucking risk to your livelihood, your career, your ability to produce content, and of course, as Carson is coming to learn, your one's own future. And, you know, when you fuck up that bad, you fuck up. I don't know what the hell's going on lately, but it seems like in recent memory, at least the past few months, more and more content creators have been ousted for, well, pedophilia, straight up, you know? Some of them have been... It's been happening, like, every year there's at least one. All the fucking time. But now, Call Me Carson is next. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not watch Call Me Carson. I've never watched his content. I heard of him in passing, but I had never actively engaged with who the hell he was. So, this is all news to me that this blew up out of nowhere. And I just have to ask one question before we continue. Why the fuck do we keep watching Drama Alert? Why the fuck do we keep listening to Keemstar? The man's a piece of shit. The man's a terrible fucking creator who only perpetuates the problem. But then when it's coming at him, suddenly he's the good guy. This is a guy who literally tried to make one of the worst creators on the internet seem sympathetic when they were acting like a fucking nutcase. This is a guy who, when he has guests on his show, he explicitly tells them to leave out or include certain details that weren't even part of their original plan. Because it gets him attention and views, and it brings it in. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to fault the man 
for coming up with his with his drama alert, even though he didn't come up with it. He probably stole it from someone else. In fact, I guarantee you he stole it from someone else because there's no such thing as an original idea. And popularizing it, but I can fault him for the way he handles things, and it's why I don't like him. I fucking hate Keemstar. I will never like Keemstar. I've always hated him because he's a self-righteous, pretentious fucking prick. I mean, we don't need to revisit the whole thing with him and Ethan Klein where everybody was an asshole in that situation. One, arguably no worse than the other, but that's not the point. So let's talk about Call Me Carson and get the finer details, shall we? Let's get into it. So it took me a little bit to find them, but I did eventually finally find the original thread with the leaked uh, private messages between Carson and the fan. It, it was actually surprisingly difficult to find the actual fucking one rather than shitty low-quality screenshots that were actually hard to read. But let's just take a quick peek here. So this is, this is what's going on. I'm going to put them up on your screen and I'm going to read them out to you. I'm scared. I want to talk to you for, all, for the wrong reasons. Elaborate. I guess this girl person is who uh, who was the 17-year-old. And call me Carson. And they do prove here that this is Carson's profile. What if I only want to talk to you for the sexual part of it? I don't want that, but like I'm, wor I'm worried about it. What if subconsciously I'm only talking to you because it turns me on or something? I mean, hey, that, welcome to the man dilemma, Carson. Welcome to the man dilemma, part of being an adult. You know, with adult women, obviously. But, you know, part of being a man who has gone through the change, if you will. Is this what you really want? What other options are there? Also, would you want to happen? I don't know. All I know is every time I... <clears throat> mm, eh, inappropriate touching of myself... I'm not going to actually say those words because, mostly because of YouTube. You know how YouTube gets. You know how they are. They go, eh, eh, you can't say that. I have a really hard time not thinking of you. I guess my brain got stimulated and now wants to know more. It's not your brain that got stimulated. Sorry, I was in school, but yeah, I get it. Okay, there we go. There's the, uh, what if we read on Snap? And next time you're the horny, we have some fun. Okay, so the fact that it's Carson suggesting it kind of kind of bothers me a little bit, but there might be more to it than that. Maybe it's not the first. I don't think this was the first time. I just don't want to be the be the only one thing we do, you know. Yeah, but fuck Sam, you're hard to resist. I I don't know who Sam is. Maybe an ex, I assume. So are you, I feel like this is all my fault. Damn. That if anything is my fault because I can't control myself. It just it goes on. And on, he goes on, he's feeling bad about it. They prove that it's Carson, and there's there's more. I'm just going to put them up on your screen here, slowly, as I, you know, I talk through this, so that you can read for yourself and pause as you need be. I'm, I'm already eight minutes in, and I don't want to linger too long on the DMs themselves. But okay, let's break this nonsense down. I apologize my demeanor changed. I took a few minutes away from the video to look at some news that's going on, and I'm just like... Damn, I wish I was there. I wish I was there. But anyway, so, a lot of people are say, are basically just accusing Call Me Carson of being a straight-up pedophile. To which, I gotta say, from the legal standpoint, eh, he is and he isn't. From a legal standpoint, what they did was technically legal, but also technically not. And this is where I get into that thing about the law is an absolute fucking disgrace. It's a failure. It's all fucked up. We need to just you know, step back and rewrite some things in my personal opinion. I'm not saying we need a total reset. I'm just saying we need to go back and look at a few things and go, eh, we need to word that a little better. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I'm getting off track. But a lot of people, their biggest complaint is the quote-unquote power dynamic. You know, I hate those terms. I hate that term. I really do. A power dynamic would be a college professor asking a student to blow him for a better grade. Like in that movie, Easy A. You know, that kind of thing. Like the, like the setup of a cheap 70s porno kind of thing. Not this. Just be, It seems like this whole power dynamic argument never seems to rear its ugly head until it's a famous person who is a man and someone who is not. And or someone who is maybe younger. You know what I mean? It seems like it only happens in the younger bracket. Technically 17 to 19. Legal. Technically legal. Technically, he not he really, at least as far as I can tell, based on what I've been able to find here, 
did nothing wrong. I'm not a fucking lawyer, though. I, I really should have been. I should really go back to law school. But anyway, it, there is no power dynamic. Carson does not have power over this person, okay? Whoever this girl person is. Carson has zero power here. You have no power here. Now, you might be more convincing because they were a fan. Apparently, they were already a fan of Carson and they were a moderator for his Discord. That kind of thing. Okay, fine. Maybe as, their, as someone that you watch, you're more inclined to steer in that direction given the opportunity because you like them and you like their content. I get that. Okay, I do. I really do. But when you actively make that decision to do it yourself and steer it that way or agree to it if they push you there, it's a matter of... You made the decision. Now, sure, one could argue, oh, he might have made them not be an admin for his Discord anymore. Okay, yeah, you could argue that, but is that really such a bad thing? It's not like he would come out and say, hey, fuck this person for not doing these things with me, because that would ruin him just as bad as this is. You know? You need to think logically about it. Granted, you're, you're emotional, your brain's going off, you're getting some stimuli, and you're just like, man, I don't know. But you gotta... Part of being an adult is making the decision logically. Applying your frontal lobe. Alright, here in America, we like to pretend that a person's frontal lobe is just incapable of making its own decisions until they are an adult. Until they are 18. But then there are occasions where we will actually try people who are younger for their decisions as an adult, even if they are not. Our, our system is very hypocritical in the way that we view people under the age of 18. I don't know who the hell at whatever point in history, decided, hey, let's let's just make the age of 18 the cutoff where you are officially always responsible for your actions all the time. But anything before that, you're only sometimes responsible for. I don't know who it was, but I would like to go back and question them. Because I clearly have a lot of things that I don't understand that they were thinking. I want to know what's going on inside that monkey brain of theirs. But basically, now because of this, everyone's calling Carson a groomer, and they're saying that there's a power dynamic. There is no power dynamic. Full stop. No fucking exceptions. A power dynamic would be your local police officer letting you off with a warning in exchange for looking up your skirt like the movie Crow or something. You know, a power dynamic would be your local politician having you, or your local judge having you thrown in jail on false charges because you didn't do what he wanted. Not a fucking YouTuber with a good amount of numbers getting frisky with someone of similar age. Now, if, now it'd be different if Carson was 19 and this person was like 14 or 15. or Then I could see why there's a problem. That, no exceptions, full stop, no fucking argument. Carson done fucked up, he should be in jail. And apparently federal agents are involved at this point. As if the FBI doesn't have enough to deal with right now. They have to investigate claims of a YouTuber touching children, even though the person was technically legal. I could sit here and explain this to you all fucking day for the rest of the fucking night. And it won't change the fact that there are going to be some people who respond poorly. You know? This is entirely my opinion here. Right right here, right now. I don't think Carson actually did anything wrong. Would I have done it myself? Absolutely not. I would not take a risk like that. But, I don't think he actually did anything wrong. And he technically, at least as far as I've come to understand it, he hasn't broken the law. Maybe we move on and go, okay, Carson, you you shouldn't have done that, okay? Just don't do it again. Not cool. Sucks for the poor person, but you know what? They made the decision. You can't come in and play victim now. I don't know, man. The whole thing just leaves a really fucking nasty taste in my mouth. Because on the one hand, this is one of those subjects as a commentator that you really don't want to cover, but sometimes you gotta do a trend. And on the one hand, sure, I could sit here and I could say that Carson's an evil, horrible pedophile and he did the and he did the fucking wrong. He shouldn't have done it and he should be condemned for it. I could hold that opinion. I just don't. And I would have to have the people that don't hold that opinion on my ass. But on then there's the other end where I sit where I'm like, "Eh, he didn't really do anything wrong or illegal. I mean, he shouldn't have done it, but who the fuck cares, you know?" Stupid teenagers make stupid mistakes, and pardon me for saying, but we all make mistakes when we're 18, 19, 20 years old that come back to haunt us later. God knows I've made quite a few mistakes that have come back to haunt me later. Oh, that poor squirrel. I didn't mean to hit him. It, it was an accident. I wasn't even aiming at him. I was aiming at the target, and he just happened to get in the way.
Ooh, that gives me an idea for a next story time. I should talk about the squirrel and the buckshot incident. But anyway, moving on. I'm getting sidetracked. My brain's a fucking scatter mess today. Holding the opinion I do that where I'm like, he didn't really do anything wrong or illegal. Maybe we should just kind of say fuck it and not worry about it. Gets the people who are go, oh, so you're, perf you're supporting pedophilia. Oh, that's wrong. You can't do that. Magnum must be one of them. No. I'm just looking at this logically from the perspective of an outsider, but that's not what they want to hear. There always has to be a fucking bad guy for some people. And unfortunately, in Carson's case, right now he's going to be the bad guy for the next couple weeks. Whatever happens, happens. If it's relevant enough, I'll come back to this story as it develops. It's only been going on for about a day and a half now. It all kind of started while I was at work, because for some reason, things always happen when I'm at work or when I'm a fucking sleep. Go fucking figure. But that's all I have to say about it. I don't think Carson did anything wrong. I don't think that we need to have this big stink about it. The power dynamic, it just doesn't fucking exist. And I'm sick of people using that term because it's no different than rethink of the children. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. My name is Magnum Martell, and I will see you in the next video where I will be covering a little shitty situation where a poor artist is being attacked on the fucking twatters because apparently... 99% of, of the platform's user base does not have a functioning frontal lobe for his drawing of a Native American anime character. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is what we're fucking doing today. My one day off, and I have to spend it doing all this bullshit.